Dear friends, this is a very special moment. I'm more than 50 days alone at sea and it's New Year's Eve. Special greetings from Sea Explorer, Yacht Captain Monaco. That's a race against time that we all need to win to find solutions. And therefore, this is as much as a sport event and adventure, it's also a scientific voyage in conjunction with our partners Geomar, Ifromea, Max Planck, UNESCO, the Imoka class, Deutsche Meeresstiftung and uh, Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation. Tomorrow, January 1st, the United Nations Decade of Ocean Science for Sustainable Development will uh, kick off. And uh, there will be uh, another 10 years with a focus on ocean science for sustainable oceans. The importance of the oceans can't be highlighted enough. First of all, the beauty of the wilderness that we depend on without the oceans, there would be no life on Earth. But they are also the main player in climate change. They mitigate climate change. They absorb all the heat, almost 93%. A lot of our man-made CO2 ends up in the ocean. And that changes biology, chemistry, temperature, that changes the oceans more than anything else. And threatens threatens life threatens the health of oceans and therefore we do this scientific effort on this voyage to measure the relevant oceanographic data with a fully automated lab that we have on board uh, since 2018 it, uh, it's something we are very proud of with our partners it uh, delivers highly accurate data accepted by the international database, SOCAT, and January 15th. Um, the uh, unique data set of this voyage will be submitted, the part that we have acquired so far. Oh, it's the first time that there's a data set, a lab entirely around the globe, of this accuracy of ocean CO2, uh, helping ocean, uh, helping climate science to better understand climate change and the role of oceans, the CO2 cycle. And um, I strongly believe that if there was no Vendée Globe race, just the scientific mission alone would make this voyage worthwhile, hugely worth worthwhile.